Hello and welcome to the Aidam Rasala update poll talk. We are in the midst of extensive campaign coverage in Uttar Pradesh and in between that we have caught up with Akhilesh Yadav ji, the president of Samajwadi Party, former chief minister and of course I have been following your campaign over the last few days and you are exuding confidence. You are saying that the first two phases have gone in favour of the Samajwadi Party in the airlines. What is the reason for this confidence? Uh, Thank you so much for uh, considering, considering me for your, you know, uh, interview and everything. Uh, what makes me confident is, people are against Bharti Janta Party. They promised a lot and they delivered nothing. They said, uh, farmers income will be doubled. Every year, there will be recruitment. Every year, two crores, youth will get a job. And now suddenly after 10 years you see, look back, uh, nothing has happened to farmers. Not much has done deliver. Uh, farmer is losing. And second, uh, unemployment is highest ever in India. Yeah. And when we see UP, it's totally different scenario. They talk about double engine government. Where is the other engine? I, you see the holdings. There is only one person visible on the holdings. Where is the other engine? And the candidate's picture is not there. Uh, leaders who are coming from Delhi or double engine government, they have not kept any photo of the uh, candidate. So, why are they asking for the vote? For whom they are asking for the vote? End of day, he will be the person who will be directly in contact with the uh, grassroots people. Who will listen to their problem? What, they'll go to Delhi uh, to tell their problems. So they have delivered nothing. In Hindi we say, Juti baat hai, vade juti inhone ki hai, log jaan gai hai, people are going to vote against them. But you had a formidable coalition in 2019 as well, Samajwadi Party, Bojan Samaj Party, which is very strong on paper. And these issues, the track record of non-functioning, was also there in the first five years of the Modi government. And you were not able to reap the kind of success that you wanted. And again, if you look at the assembly elections, then also you, 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 you came up with a very spirited fight. You brought in a lot of communities with you. Uh, and if you project, of course, you, you did make, a, make it into a bipolar election and the Samajwadi Party had a substantive opposition. And if you project those 111 seats to Lok Sabha seats, you are getting 23 seats. So, where are you going from those 23 seats? See, I've learned a lot from previous uh, alliances. 2019 was the biggest alliance ever happened in UP. Uh, we could not win more votes. We learned a lot. This time, uh, as we say in democracy, heads are count or uh, numbers should be correct. So this time, we have done very good social engineering. We have put right semicolon on the ground, uh, last 2-3 years we have been working on booth and uh, our sector and village management for the voters. So probably this time will be a big thing and the result will be very different. And of course, yeah, there is a lot of uh, you know appreciation of the selection of candidates that you have done across the state, the social engineering factor that you are talking about. Uh, and also I am hearing one very strange thing which is the, the Thakur mobilization against the BJP on account of various factors. Do you think that there are some important Thakur leaders of Uttar Pradesh at the top are also blessing this movement? Uh, I'm not sure about that. But uh, at different places we see a lot of, uh, you know, anger is against government. Not only from Thakur community, so from other communities also. So in democracy and that to be during elections, we have to mobilize and we have to take the advantage of that. Or BJP so we are welcoming them. So, but the Bhajan Samaj Party, which is an ally, is also playing the role of a filibuster or a, or, a, or a splitter at various places. They have fielded a lot of Muslim minority candidates uh, and uh, in some places at least it is working, is it not? Since 2014 election, I am seeing BSP is working as a B team of Bharatiya Janata Party. Whatever Bharatiya Janata Party tells BSP, BSP does it. So, 2014 you see the ticket distribution, 
2017 you see the ticket distribution 2019 of course they were with us 2022 you see the ticket distribution and today you see how they are changing the candidates so whatever bahujan samaj party is doing is doing to give favor and give advantage to bjp people understand this thing voters are understanding this this time nothing will happen there's no confusion people want to throw out this government and probably this time bjp will be out if bjp is out from up bjp will be out from center uh, whatever this whatever slogan they said 400 and all suppose they lose up badly well they will compensate we have a big question but uh, the fact also remains that uh, there is a sizable section of the women population which is with uh, bjp and especially with prime minister modi i mean there is a huge following uh, and then he has also brought in this mangal sutra and all this you know uh, argument about that uh, the, the india government if it comes to power it will create a situation where you know uh, their mangal sutra will be taken over and give, given to the minorities how do you counter a comp- campaign like that see these are things these are the words used by bjp just to distract if we go by data and data tells the different story data shows it ki uh, sabse jyada uh, unsafe girls and women uh, are in up under bjp government it is not the data which i am quoting is the data from the ncrv if you see the data and the crime against women girls is in bjp government so why why they will vote for bjp and the mangal sut or uh, there are more issues they are raising just to distract people's you know uh, we are voting but this not happen people know if they have increased the uh, everything uh, uh, farmers are in bad condition they have not given employment no investment has come and law and order is worse and when we see ncr ncrv data 1 lakh farmers have died they have committed suicide what is the answer for that so bjp is losing ground just to distract sometimes they come up with all these you know slogans mangal sutra or some other kind of words last two questions no last one question <laughs> okay the last question uh we see that you have uh, uh we see that you know that uh, there is a new addition to the campaign from your family which is your daughter she is going on the uh, rounds on the on the ground uh what is the inspiration that she has had for to do this very simple may she is young she is independent i mean she is of that age where she can think of herself when she wanted to do campaign i said even dimple said the same thing you go you learn yourself you see how hard life is and look at it what temperature is today and they do campaigning so it is always they should learn the hard life it's not easy in politics is very hard how was your equation with congress because you know there have been times when you were assi- allied with the congress and some many a times you know the congress has pulled down the coalition so what is the equation at this point of time how is it working uh, very good this time and hopefully it will continue like that and uh, let's see how it goes thank you akilesh ji thank, thank you, you so much thank time. you uh, and thank you so forward much. to looking uh, catching up with your campaign in the other phase we'll meet again and we'll catch up again fine to be